What's up, PlayStation Nation? Welcome back to Pin Sunsight. So this is going to be a strange video, hence the color green. This is going to be an Xbox focus video. And what I'm about to say is going to be very weird, but let's get into it. So hours ago, we got some uh, reports that Microsoft may release their games to PlayStation and Nintendo consoles. And this includes their first party games such as Starfield, Hi-Fi Rush, Indiana Jones, and many more. So this is, again, PS Insights are videos about PlayStation news, but this entire video would be about Xbox releasing their IPs on PlayStation products. This is insane. So I'm gonna read this article from xboxera.com who will drop this bomb shell with news. And uh, after this, I'm gonna uh, get my initial thoughts from it. As quote, for many weeks now, rumors have preserved regarding Microsoft's intention to release a number of first party games, namely Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves on rival platform. According to our sources who are asked to remain anonymous because they were not authorized to talk about company plans, the list games also include Bethesda Game Studios, Starfield. Starfield released back in August 2023, which is a positive, which is fairly positive received game. It's also Bethesda's biggest launch of all time, surpassing 6 million players within a week of release. Now it looks like as though Microsoft are planning on bringing Bethesda's new RPG universe to the entire new platform with PS5. According to sources, we understand that the current Microsoft are planning a launch of Starfield on PlayStation 5 post release of the already announced Shattered Space expansion for Xbox and PC, which is on target to arrive at some point later this year. As the already existing rumors have suggested, the idea of bringing first party titles to competing platforms marks a massive change in Microsoft's strategy. Okay, so later in the article, we mentioned Cerebone on the present Xbox Studios and how it contradicts Xbox original plans prior to this news and how it contradicts first part exclusivity. And I agree. While this is shocking news for everyone, PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, I understand the frustration from Xbox fans. I get it. If you've seen my PS Insight videos regarding PlayStation putting games on PC, I was a bit furious and annoyed how PlayStation is supporting those games on PC and it kind of kills the narrative of exclusivity while they are PlayStation games in their blood and DNA sure but it's on a different platform it gives people option to choose that platform over the main platform granted PlayStation did say PlayStation their consoles are the bread and butter that's their main course but it still gives an insight to people's minds Xbox have it worse here now everyone thoughts regarding the Xbox game now I don't care now is, is it coming to PS5 they come to Nintendo Switch. We got Indiana Jones releasing, or could be potentially releasing on PS5 months after it comes on Xbox uh, Series X and S and PC. That's insane. If you thought PC was an issue, now it's on competing platforms. But what are we doing here? And people always keep bringing up, you no, know, PlayStation's gonna follow the same route too. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. There are pinning games on PC, sure. But games or service games, such as Hell Divers 2 is coming to PC day and day. They're not doing it for their first party games. PlayStation consoles sell way more better than Xbox consoles. The reason why we're in this situation now, the reason why we're having this, I'm producing this video, because Xbox can't produce games or sell consoles the way PlayStation Nintendo does. That's just facts. This is the end result here. This is the accumulation of all those years of people talking about these, these sales and buying these games, you're supporting with all that mumbo jumbo. It led to this. This is where we're at now. I would not be playing Starfield. I don't care still, even if it's coming to PS5. If I wish I would try, I would try out her praise with that. But out of the entire lineup, Xbox feature lineup, maybe Hi-Fi Rush and Blade are the only things I generally kind of care about, maybe. And you know, it's funny I mentioned Blade because Blade got announced at the Game Awards and I tweeted out like, hey, where's, why did Blade get uh, announced that way? Usually when Xbox produces these games and they announce them at a war show, it says Xbox Game Studios. You didn't get that with Blade. When PlayStation got Spider-Man PS4, they said Marvel um, Marvel Games, Insomniac Games, or PlayStation Studios logo. Boom, Spider-Man. We didn't get it for Blade. And when they announced that, I was confused because like, that's weird. Why didn't you show Xbox Game Studios prior to the Blade logo? Because it shows confidence like, we, oh, we, oh, we own a Marvel game now too. They didn't do that. And it was weird. And... This kind of answers my question from two months back. 
I don't know what to say about this. It's shocking. Thirsty for good, interesting news. This is good, interesting news. But, you know, fanboys and aside, I understand why Xbox fanboys are. I say Xbox fanboys. Well, I understand why Xbox fans are annoyed. I get it. I'm a guy who's been pro exclusivity for all platforms, not just PlayStation, but Nintendo and Xbox. You want those respective games? Buy the respective console. Xbox is taking that option away and say, hey, they don't everywhere. And to me, that kind of kills the the reason on Xbox. You know, it was already hard to get one in general in terms of like, why do you want one? Because the games was kind of iffy and they on PC. But now you're telling everyone you can play it on PlayStation and play it on Switch. I know this is a PlayStation focused show, um, but I'm talking about Xbox. I'm repeating myself here. But what I want to say is like, I don't know the direction of Xbox. I know the competitors with PlayStation, but I can't I can't seem to follow them like on PlayStation. My expertise is on PlayStation. I don't know Xbox's strategy other than throwing up Game Pass. That's I know the baseline of it, but other than that, I don't know their future. It's really hard to tell. This doesn't benefit Xbox gamers. Benefit PlayStation players. PlayStation players don't even have to run out and buy a expensive PC or a Xbox series console. They can play it on their PS5 and there it is. You know what's funny by the way? We spent what two years with the Activision Blizzard deal over Xbox. And as of February 4th, 2024, everyone that was going nuts regarding that deal, how they're gonna be exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem. Look at you now. Hilarious. None of these games appear to be exclusive. They don't come to console, Xbox console, PC, maybe first for six months to a year. That's just a guess. My things are worded here. They're going to come to PlayStation 5 and Switch. You guys look like idiots. You guys were screaming this wasn't Monopoly from Microsoft. The media look like Monopoly from Microsoft. Decided to buy something for no apparent reason. And you guys are getting the worst end of the stick of that. Idiots. So it didn't mention the article that like these won't be day and day as of now, which I don't think they will be. I think they kind of make them release on PC and Xbox probably like six months in advance to a year. Then they're going to come on consoles. But that's still, I don't think this news is going to make people jump to Xbox consoles first and foremost. No, I think people are going to generally wait. The Xbox consoles has not been selling well at all. Game Pass numbers has not been growing at all. It's just been in a steady state where it's not moving. Sales are declining. The console hardware. Yeah, this is crazy. This is really crazy. The gaming future is exciting in a way. In a, I wouldn't say worse or best. It's just interesting where we, everyone's doing three different things. And out of everyone, Xbox has the most shocking news. I don't know the future, but this is crazy. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Just a quick update regarding. <laughs> I guess this is PlayStation news. I don't know. It's more Xbox focused. I look at my green background. Look at the thumbnail. It's Xbox games on a PlayStation show. That entire concept is literally what this news is. Xbox and PlayStation joined together in the most random, weird way possible. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Take care.